But why I've been telling all these stories before? It's just for one reason only. That those who complain all the time about Nigeria, those who write all the negative things about Nigeria, should realize that what we put out to the rest of the world affects us at many levels. Our people are now participants in this industry. But one thing is lacking. Technically, our people have become very competent. They can run this industry. But this industry is a combination of two things. Technical competence and access to capital. We cannot now access capital, although we have the technical competence. And what makes it difficult to access capital? One of the things that make it difficult to access capital when it comes to Nigeria is the thing, are the things that we put out there about Nigeria. We actually, all the time, we add to the country risk, the perception about Nigeria. Because we enjoy saying all the evil things about Nigeria and really never dwell on those things that are great about Nigeria. Look at us today. Since the 1960s, we've made a lot of progress. And if you say, where is the progress? If you ask me, I will tell you, for example, that where you sit today is part of our success story. Abuja is part of our success story. A brand new city created from scratch. Somehow, we've done a few things well, and we must agree. So when we go out there, before the next great edition of NIPS, we should realize that we must all begin to contribute to the good story about Nigeria. Let's begin to say some of the good things that have happened in Nigeria. Let's begin to say that there has been some movement in Nigeria. We are not where we want to be. I'm the first to agree. Corruption is quite pervasive. I'm the first to agree. There is poverty. I'm the first to agree. But we are making steady progress. I am also the first to agree. 